All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at what I think are the top six Seamoth mods for Subnautica that you can find on the Nexus website, as is where I find most of my mods. Without further ado, let's get into our number six spot. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is park the Seamoth in the moon pool before we do anything. Get our formalities in order. All right, so the first mod that we have on today's list coming in at number six is going to be the Seamoth Depth Modules Upgrade mod. So what this mod does, it adds two new depth modules to the Seamoth, because as we know, in the base game for the Seamoth, the depth modules only go up to Mark 3, I believe, which is a max depth of 900 meters. With this mod, it'll give your Seamoth two new depth modules that go up to Mark 4 and Mark 5, and you can find these in your modification station. So if we just walk right over here, open it up, head to Mod Items, and we can see right here, we have the Seamoth depth module Mark 4, increases the diving depth to 1,100 meters. And then we have the Seamoth Depth Module Mark V, which increases the diving depth to 1,500 meters or 1,500. Now, these modules are going to allow you to bring your Seamoth down to the same levels that you bring your Cyclops down to, which is, you know, going to be the inactive, active lava zones, lava lakes, etc. It's basically going to allow your Seamoth to go anywhere on the map, just like the Cyclops and Prontu can, instead of being, you know, locked out and limited at the Lost River. If you really, really enjoy using your Seamoth like everywhere and you are sort of like bummed out, that you can't take it further than the Lost River, then you know this mod is going to help you a lot. So a relatively simple mod in nature, but it does do a lot in the long run for those who like to use your Seamoth a lot. So yeah, with that mod done, we can move on to our next mod. All right, so moving on to the number five place, the next mod we have on today's list is going to be the Seamoth Sonar Enhancement mod. Whenever you have your Seamoth Sonar Enhancement mod installed, it's going to change the Seamoth Sonar, like the regular old Seamoth Sonar that we're looking at right now, and it's gonna make it a little bit more detailed. All right, so as we can see, we're in our Seamoth like regular. Now, when we activate our sonar now, and now whenever you activate the sonar, we can see that there's a big old map underneath of the terrain slash landscape that's around us, which is super, super awesome to look at. It gives us a nice little detailed reading of what's around us without actually having us like have to look at every single little thing. And I believe this mod also makes your sonar, yeah, it makes the sonar like pulse out way faster and it also stays up a lot longer. So it improves the sonar virtually every aspect, making it a whole lot better than the vanilla counterpart. The biggest highlight though is this freaking, the little mini map that it shows at the very bottom. I really do like that. But yeah, other than that, that is about the gist of this mod. Another relatively simple mod in nature. All these mods are kind of simple. Cause I mean, there's not really, you know, you can't really do like super, super complicated stuff with the Seamoth, but you know, that's okay. That is the Seamoth Sonar Enhancement mod. And with that, we can move on to our next mod. All right, so moving on to our next mod, we're going to be looking at the Seamoth Laser Cannon cannon mod which adds a you know new weapon to your seamoth so if we head to our upgrade our vehicle upgrade fabricator right here in the moon pool click on this click on seamoth modules and then we can see these little lasers right here they kind of look like two chopsticks we got our laser cannon recovered laser beam technology from an ancient precursor weapon fragment there's one right there all right let's fire And down goes the stalker. Now we can also notice that aside from just damaging creatures, I think it also destroyed some of these creep vine trees. Yeah, the laser cannons can sort of like destroy some of the plants near the area. So do just be aware of that. It also fires in like this weird sort of like burst slash semi-auto fashion because I'm trying to hold it down and it'll only like do the constant beam for like a few seconds. Like this is me, I'm holding, I'm holding the mouse right now. This is about as fast as it'll shoot. Yo, Reaper, what's good with you, bro? Hey, I have weapons now. Ain't nobody scared of you. Okay, that was a hit. Okay, maybe it just doesn't... It might not... Okay, so it looks like it doesn't have as long of range as I thought it did. Because I thought I would be able to, like, snipe him or something. But I guess you have to be a little bit closer. I mean, it three shots bone sharks. I... Oh my gosh, he scared the freak out of me. And we're out of power. We're out of power, so I can't even shoot this dude. Nope, let me out. You can have the Seamoth, sir. I, you can have it. I, I, it ain't worth my life. So as we all saw, whenever your power gets too low, it actually won't let you shoot the laser cannon anymore to sort of keep you from draining your Seamoth to zero with the laser cannon. So that's a nice little feature. But that was the Seamoth Laser Cannon mod. And with that, we can move on to our next Seamoth mod. All right, so the next mod that we have on today's list is going to be the Seamoth Hover Module mod, which is going to give your Seamoth the ability to fly. So if we head over to our Vehicle Fabricator right here, head to Seamoth Modules, we can see we have a Seamoth Hover Module right here, a module that lets the Seamoth hover above water. Now, I'd also like to point out that you can configure this mod if you head over to your Options and then head over to Mods and you find the Seamoth Hover Module section right here. You can change the different modes. So we 
have fly mode right here, as it says right here, and then we have the hover and flight mode. So the hover mode is just gonna let you, you know, essentially hover over the water. But if you change this to flight mode, you're actually gonna be able to fly around like wherever you want, no matter how high you go. So as we saw in the options menu, I have my thing set to P, like to toggle the hover mode on and off. But if I press P, it's gonna send me straight up, like, like so. And now we're hovering above water. And if I hold space, I can go up a little bit higher. But because I'm in hover mode, whenever I go over, a, whenever I go above 50, it's gonna automatically force me back down because I'm in hover mode and the Aurora is gonna blow up. Isn't that amazing? Now, if you change your Seamoth to flight mode, like I just did, so I changed this to flight mode instead of hover mode. So now if I just go up out the water, it'll let me, it'll let me fly like regular. And I also don't have a height like limit, so I can just go however high I want. And also whenever you're in flight mode, you don't have to press P or anything like that. You don't have to press any like toggle button to turn it on and off. You can just fly up like this. There's almost no reason to use the hover mode over the flight mode since they do exact, essentially the same thing, except one requires you to press a button to activate it. And it also um, sort of like restricts you, but you know, to each their own, depending on whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is the Seamoth hover module. Really cool, really cool. Let's your Seamoth fly and all that good stuff. So with that, we can move on to our next Seamoth mod. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So for the sake of this video, we are going to be skipping on to the number one spot. So this is going to be a top five modding list. I thought it was going to be top six before, but the mod that I was going to put at the number two spot, which is going to be the Seamoth warping module mod and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that mod does not seem to be working right now. I deleted it, uninstalled it, uh, tried everything I could. It just ain't working, so I'm gonna assume it's because the mod's a little bit older. So coming in at the number one spot for the top Seamoth mods, we have the Seamoth Arms mod. So this mod is going to give your Seamoth the ability to actually have like arms that the prawn suit has, except on the Seamoth. So if we head over to our vehicle upgrade fabricator, at the Seamoth modules, we can see we now have the Seamoth claw arm right here, Seamoth torpedo arm, Seamoth propulsion cannon, grapple, etc. Torpedo arm is kind of eh because I mean the Seamoth already has its own torpedo bay. But let's just slap these in here. Now, if we look at our Seamoth, we can see it has some little arms attached to it. It kind of looks, it looks kind of freaky. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But let's hop in and see. There's our little arm doing the little grabbing animation, kind of disgusting looking. All right, let's shoot the grapple arm. I mean, the grapple arm could be kind of cool. I mean, you could kind of look at that. You can kind of drift in the water. That's kind of that. That could be kind of cool actually somebody could make like a um like a subnautica racetrack and have these grapple arms on their sea moth you can drift around corners and stuff that might be kind of cool cool idea to explore you can only use one arm at a time because you have to you know like select it using the scroll wheel unlike on the prawn suit because of the prawn suit you just sort of like right click if you want to use the right arm left click if you want to use the left but this you just left click to use either or and you have to select it at the bottom i'm not sure what i'm bumping into though I don't know if that's some glitch with this mod specifically or what. Okay, yeah, it's most definitely a glitch with this mod. Uh, some, something, something with this mod. I don't, our mod is a little bit buggy, but it still works like overall. Essentially, it'll give you a reason to use your Seamoth to actually go around and drill things instead of having to use the prawn suit and the Seamoth. You know, you can sort of have like an all-in-one vehicle. You can have both the prawn suit and the Seamoth in one vehicle which would be your seamoth because of these arms if you have any other mods you know that i might have missed i may have i might have missed what did i just saying that i may have missed just feel free to let me know in the comments below so we can all take a look at those mods and benefit from them but yeah other than that that is about all i have for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace